previous Polish government was accused many times of breaking the rule of law. So, but you are here in the Christmas time and you're spending it under Polish press agency. Why? Well, first of all, all these accusations was not proven, none of them. So obviously there were so many accusations in European Union, around the world, by the leftists, by the, uh, by the opposition during our terms. So first of all, I must say all these accusations was, was not proven, none of them, never ever. So that's number one. Why are we here? Because Donald Tusk, the man of love, as he's called in European Union, the man of democracy, the man of European values, the man of freedom, uh, is trying to take over Polish media. He's trying to bring dictatorship to Poland by his actions, and I mean physical attack on, on journalists and all the media. That's number one. You have to know that some uh, people who try to take over uh, uh, press agency, TV, radio, they try to do it with the force, and they are even armed. So they came to uh, to confront us with the guns, actually. So. You never hear this about. You never hear about it in the media around Europe or around the world. And you would if that would happen in in I don't know Germany, France, or any any other European country. The whole the whole thing is about the Polish Act, Polish Constitution, and Polish law. He has to, if he wants to take over the media, he has to change the law. To change the law, he has to pass the bill in the Parliament, and then President has to sign it. He knows the President will not sign it, so he just skipped the whole legal way. He's just trying to take over the media by the force, like in Belarus or Russia. He's trying to send, as he says, strong men to take over. So we are here as a MEPs to make sure that law will not be broken. This is... This is just like Belarus, this is just like Russia, this is third world country in the middle of Europe and no one's reacting, so we have to react. Uh, correctly, there, there are some people say that there is a domino effect and what will be the next chip of the domino to fall if the media will fall? They start to shoot. I'm not joking. If they will take media, the fourth power in democracy, by the force, they will not hesitate to shoot shoot the political opponents, uh, put them to the jail, then shoot to the people. I'm, I'm, I'm deadly serious. If we will allow them to use force to take power over the media, as I said, fourth power in the democracy, they will not hesitate to kill. I'm, I'm absolutely serious because this is not democracy. If you cross the border, if you cross the bridge, if you will, if you will start using force, then you feel that you you feel like you can do it. So we have to resist. We have to protest. We have to be present. That's you know it's Christmas Day. We should be with our families, and we are here. So very important message to the world from my side as a European parliamentarian: uh, beware of Donald Tusk. Try to Google whatever you can. I know it's uh, it's hard to find any information about this attack on Polish media. But to let you know, to, to explain it in a very simple words, if he wants to be in charge of the Polish media, public media, he has to change the law because previous, uh, previous government was very straight about national board for the media, about, about the uh, six years terms, about the body between the government and the media who decides about the officials who are in charge of public media. So he just sacked the officials from the public media without legal path, and that's not democracy. This is dictatorship. A final question. Uh, Donald Tusk uh, speaks very unfavorably about the tri Constitutional Tribunal and National Central Bank and the body that elects the judges to the network. That is, is that the next things to happen in Poland if the national media fall? Well, well, Tribunal Court is next, National Bank is next. He's trying to take over Poland as he owns it. He thinks that Poland is a piece of land where he can take it into his pocket and keep it. We are not a piece of land. We are free people. We're going to fight for it. Constitution, he was shouting out, like, like screaming out and, and protesting with the Constitution for the eight years on the streets. When you ask them, where are they now with the Polish Constitution, you can't see any of them. I can't see anyone with the Constitution now. They had even this, you know, well-known T-shirts with, with, with the constitu word Constitution. Lech Valenza is wearing the Constitution. He used to wear it. I can't see Valenza with a Constitution T-shirt anymore. They don't care about Constitution. They don't care about the rules. They don't care about democracy. He's a dictator. The way he behaves is a dictatorship.
Dominic Tarczewski, member of European Parliament. Thank you very much for this. Thank you.